Hey you guys, another beautiful day out here and I wanted to take you around and kind of show you what we've been doing here and then get into a video on showing you how to trim your loose leaf lettuce so that way it will continue to grow and uh, yeah, let's do that. Check them out, they're so big. And we were right, Tay, the white one is a rooster. So he's got the more formed crest. He's got the tail feathers that both go up and then curve down. He's got the ruffles on his cheekies. Hey guys. Aren't they so cute? Yes, you are. You're so cute. So these are our Easter Egger chicks that are now getting really, really big. Oh, they want the grass. All right, I better look. Let them go. Alrighty, then over here, I have just taken some of the zucchini and set them on the ground with some dirt. So it rained a crap ton yesterday and the wind was blowing like crazy and it's done really well. Uh, I can see two of them are turning a little bit yellow. I think it was just too much water for them, but uh, they'll dry out and it will be just fine. And then moving over here, there's our potatoes. In fact, let me just take you inside real fast. All right, so this is our container of russet potatoes. Uh, we've got some onions growing, and these onions I'd actually had for a year, and most of them were just dust. But I stuck them in anyway, and they're growing, so that's pretty cool. Um, the potatoes down in here and in these other containers are growing. They just haven't spread their leaves up through the top yet, but I've been checking down in them, and they do have a lot of the root system going. We have the green onions that were store-bought where I cut off, you know, the tops and then just planted the roots in. Those are doing good. And then we've got strawberries. So lots and lots of strawberries. And these are the ones that I did in the video uh, just the other day. And you can see they're, they're growing their flowers. Some more flowers here lots more flowers there so everything is just doing really really amazing but let me take you on to the next section okay next to that dog kennel full of plants we have the asparagus in the ground and remember i was wondering you know if it was going to work because i took it out of the grass and the grass hasn't grown back but unfortunately the hay that i was using had seeds so uh, there is some hay growing up in here but uh, you can see the asparagus are just getting nice and big. So the experiment has worked even in really, really poor soil with just a little bit of compost around it. They're just doing so well. So that's really encouraging. This worked out. Look at this bad guy over here. I mean, good guy. He's a good guy. So we have uh, the potatoes right next to it. And again, you can see that the hay has started to sprout the little seeds. But um, down in there, you can feel the roots of the potatoes as well. And so they should be sprouting up anytime soon. Yeah, if you look right here, sorry about this, but you can see all the roots from the potatoes. So I'll just cover those back up. All right, next thing down the fence, uh, we've got some more zucchini. And we've got squash over here. Uh, when we moved in, they had left these cinder blocks. And so I was like, you know what? I have so many zucchini and squash plants. I'm just gonna try to grow them in here. And they're doing really well. But again, we did have a ton of rain yesterday, like a ton all day long, all night long. So they look a little bit sad, but they'll dry out and be just fine. But uh, now we can go on to the next thing. All right, so here's the corn, the peas and the pumpkin. All right, looking really good. The dog keeps coming over and pulling the sticks out and bending and stepping on the peas. <sighs> I love my dog, but dang it. So a few of the peas look bad. It seems he just wants to attack those ones. He just wants the sticks on that one and the one down there. The other ones he leaves alone, but um, the corn is growing up really, really well. So that is encouraging. And so next year, I just kind of wanted to see how it go this year because I've never actually grown corn before. 
but next year I think I'm going to make a bigger area so we can get a lot more of it in here because eight of them you know not a lot of food there but for a good practice thing to do this year it's working out great alrighty and lastly we're on to the big plot now you can see like I had so many plants and uh, most of my garden is still empty <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get in there and just plant some some stuff but to take you along the way we've got cabbage right here we love cabbage chickens love cabbage and the bearded dragon loves cabbage we've got some lettuce and spinach over here then we've got broccoli over here if we keep on going we've got two different varieties of cucumber we've got the gherkin and we've got the double yield and then over here we've got cantaloupe so five cantaloupe plants if we keep on walking here we've got our row of potatoes that i showed you guys in an earlier video how to do those are growing just great and then lastly we've got some watermelons so these guys are they were pretty small when i put them in they're actually doing really really well right now um oh sorry that wasn't the last section we've got the middle section here so we've got all of our different tomatoes and then we've got our pepper plants some of them are still really really small uh, but some of them have grown quite a bit larger obviously if you can see because you have eyeballs but um yeah Everything's doing really well. I, I am happy. We just need to get more going. Like I, it seemed like I had so many plants, which I do, but there's just a vast area of my garden that is empty. So in my second grow box, I'm doing cucumbers over there, but still need to put them in the ground. So lots going on here. I'll keep you guys updated as things get going. All right, so in the greenhouse here, is where I have kept my lettuce and you guys saw the video the other day where they were looking really sad and I had to transplant them in look at them now they look amazing um, there's the beets that we planted that also looked really sad because there was tons in these little baby containers right here they have just gone crazy so we also have radishes I have some additional plants here uh, I do have a cauliflower and another watermelon um, but these are squash and then I've got the comfrey down there. There was another video on doing those. So those are coming along nicely. Uh, a cauliflower here and another squash. And then in the very back there, we've got carrots. So everything's growing really, really well. I'm very pleased. Um, this marigold plant somehow got itself into the beets, but I won't ask any questions on how that happened. But uh, let's get to the actual video today on how to uh, trim your lettuce so that way it will grow back and uh, so that way it keeps from bolting okay sorry about any shadows here but the sun's coming in from directly behind us because it's morning but once your loose leaf lettuce gets anywhere from 6 to 12 inches long you definitely want to harvest it I came out the other day and some of it had already started bolting and it basically looks like long gangly stems with seeds on the top um, I, shot, I probably should have left it for you guys to show you, but I did pluck them out. So um, this is the big secret to harvesting it so it will regrow. Now, shh, don't tell anybody it's secret. But you come down to the base of the plant and you can either break it off and pull it off or you can take scissors. I tend to just take some scissors and cut them. So... Doing it like this will get you another harvest, as long as you're doing it in time and not letting it bolt. And the best thing to do when you're harvesting your lettuce is to get it done in the, in the early morning hours or later in the day, because once it gets really hot, the lettuce kind of becomes like, like, soggy uh it's it doesn't have a lot of structure to it it's just kind of like wilty but if you come in the early morning hours when things are kind of cool or you do it in the evening when things have cooled off you're going to have a lot more crisp lettuce that you're collecting so 
That's why I'm out here doing it right now. And my mom, she's gonna watch this video, bless her heart, but she doesn't really like lettuce, much like, you know, I actually don't really like lettuce that much. Um, I usually have to cover it up with different types of um, salad dressings in order to stomach the taste. But this stuff is so good. I mean, I normally just buy it from the grocery store all winter long, but um, the homegrown stuff is so fresh and so good. The biggest thing that you want to do, and, and oh, I should say that my mom loved it. She absolutely loved it. So that's how you do it. You put a little seed in a pot or a bunch of seeds in a pot like this, let it get out of control, throw it into a bucket, and bam, tons of lettuce. You don't need to do like some of them where it's one little seed and when it grows, you you know, you put two seeds in and when they both sprout, you pull one of them out and you have one, you know, you might want to do that with a big head of lettuce, but for loose leaf, loose leaf lettuce, just chuck a whole bunch in a little container and then keep it watered in, in the sun. So, oh look, okay, this one right here is bolting. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a long gangly stem coming up here and if I keep letting this grow it'll get really tall and then seeds will show up at the end but I think I've got just about enough lettuce for me for my salad my steak salad for lunch um, when I go in I'm just going to rinse these off you can get a salad spinner where you put the wet leaves in and then um, it spins it or you can do the old Sarah method and get it wet and then just shake it like crazy but uh yeah that's pretty much it so please leave a comment down below if this information was helpful for you guys if you're going to try any of the methods and different ways of growing that we've already done here and that i just showed you guys today um, please like subscribe hit the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded and i just i hope you guys have an amazing amazing day thank you so much god bless